What's up, guys? It's Wally. Today, we're going to be doing some battles with the rental team featuring a Shell Armor, Hisui, and Gudra. Now, Gudra has always been a really incredible Pokemon, in my opinion. However, somehow, in the Hisuian form, they ended up improving it quite a bit. I mean, it did take away 20 base points in its speed, as well as 10 from HP. However, with those 30 points, they ended up putting it all into defense. And that was probably, in my opinion, the weakest stat that Gudra actually had. Because it was only a 70 base, but the fact that they bumped it up to a 100 base stat point... It's pretty incredible, and it adds a lot of bulk to it too. And not just that, but they also added probably the best typing in Pokemon to it with the Steel type. So having a Steel and Dragon type really only increases its bulk because of all the resistances it gets. Because it does end up with 9 resistances and 1 immunity as well. So essentially having 10 types that are not going to do a lot of damage or do no damage against you is pretty incredible. That's more than half the types in Pokemon. The two typings that you really have to worry about are Fighting and Ground, which are pretty common, unfortunately. But you do end up taking away a lot of the weaknesses that you originally have with either just the Dragon or the Steel typing. And the Steel typing does allow you to take away your weakness to Dragon as well as Fairy. And then with the Dragon typing, you take away the weakness to Fire. So again, a lot of things that are pretty common out there are things that, while it may be a weakness for some other Pokemon with these typings, it's not going to be for Gudra because it ends up kind of neutralizing it in that way. So how do you make this Pokemon even bulkier? I mean, again, it's got a lot of bulk and now defense and special defense, pretty good HP stat. And of course, with the typing, adds a lot of resistances. But when we add shell armor, this thing absolutely goes crazy because this makes it so that you don't have to worry about critical hits. And especially since Regulation D coming up soon, you're going to have to worry about some Urshifu, which do have, you know, a couple of moves that do end up hitting for critical hits every single time. With Shell Armor, if I'm not mistaken, what that does is basically take away that critical hit. It'll do just normal damage as if you didn't get critted. So basically, if you do end up going with Shelter, which is a move that increases your defense by two stages, you're going to still get those two stage boosts. So you're going to get hit with those critical hits, you know, or whatever you want to call them, you know, with like the surging strikes and everything, but they're going to do just normal damage. You're not going to, you know, bypass the, you know, the two stage defense increase to be able to get the critical hits. They're just going to be hitting normal. So Gudra ends up getting even bulkier with that ability right there. Now the item on this one is safety goggles. And the reason why Lycan ended up doing this is because I know, especially with our Gudra, we ended up running it with Sap Sipper. And part of the reason we did that is because we ended up having that Water Terra on it. So we ended up absorbing all of the uh, grass moves and we were pretty much immune to like Spore and Sleep Powder because again, we absorb all of the grass moves. But because this is Shell Armor, he did end up putting safety goggles on it to be able to avoid all of the Spores and the Sleep Powder. So this Gudra really isn't gonna go to sleep. Unless of course there's a Pokemon with Hypnosis, but at that point, you know, what can you do, right? But anyways, the moves on this Gudra are Body Press, Heavy Slam, as I mentioned earlier, Shelter, and Life Dew. Now we have Life Dew because again, I think Gudra is going to be out there on the field for, for quite a bit. So if we are able to heal ourselves up, I think there's, you know, there's only benefit to that. Also with Shelter, like I said, we do increase our defense by two stages. And since we really don't have to worry about critical hits, we are going to see those two stage increases no matter what. And of course with Body Press, when we do get those two stage increases to our defense, it's only going to power up Body Press because that's a move that ends up taking your defense stat into consideration as opposed to your attack stat. And last but not least, we do have Heavy Slam, which again is a really great move. Gudra is pretty heavy, so it is going to do some really good damage. And of course, because we are a Steel Terror as well, we will get that 2x stab on the Steel move. And that Heavy Slam, especially if you go into something like Fluttermane, uh, yeah, it's going to do some overkill damage. We could probably end up knocking out two Fluttermane with that type of damage. So I think Gudra, especially with that Steel Terra, is going to be extremely good. And I think this moveset is incredible too. And then, of course, the safety goggles to make it so we don't go to sleep uh, makes it even better. So I think Gudra is going to be a really great Pokemon, especially as we get into Regulation D. And I think it's going to be great in these battles too. So we'll get into them. But before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just tap and chat. Please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Let's get into the battles. You know, one of the things I was going to say coming into this battle was, since we have to do these on like the casual ladder instead of the ranked ladder because we are still in Regulation C, I was afraid we were going to see you know teams of like you know Kyogre, Regieleki, um, you know Groudon, and Pokemon like that. But you know our first one here is against an All Evolution team. I, I think this is pretty cool. I actually wonder. No, maybe not, because I think I think Penny actually had an Umbreon too, so I don't think this is Penny's team, but it is obviously an all-evolution team, which I think is really cool. 
Uh, I think we're going to actually start out with Tornadus as well as Gudra, because I really want to see what it's able to do. Um, now, because they don't have, you know, obviously any, uh, I don't want to say restricted Pokemon, but uh, like a uh, Ruinous Pokemon or Paradox or anything like that, I really don't want to go out with like a, like a legendary team. So I think, again, we're going to go out with those two, even though I know Tornadus is technically a, a legendary-ish, you know. Uh, but we'll go Sneasler as well as um, Typhlosion. Um, and if we end up using this team again, which I, I think we might, uh, which I, actually I'm hoping we will, um, but Sneasler actually has some really cool tech on it too uh, with the White Herb, uh, which is really nice because uh, Sneasler does have the ability Unburden. So with that, once it loses its item, its speed increases. Um, ooh, it's an all shiny team too. That's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, speed increases. Um, so if you do end up going with uh, close combat, it'll end up getting, you know, the defense and special defense drop. The white herb will end up triggering because it'll bring you back to your normal stats. And then you're going to get to take advantage of the unburdened. So it's a way to kind of uh, take your item off of you and be able to get that speed increase. Or better yet, if you end up going out against like an Intimidate Mon, you know, then you're not really going to have to you know, worry about proccing it yourself. They're going to proc it for you and you're going to be extra speedy on that first turn. Anyway, my bad. I took way too long to uh, to explain that. I think we're going to go with the Tailwind, though. Um, and I am... Well, both of these are special attackers, though. Um, I think we can go for a Heavy Slam over on Espeon. I think that should actually do some really good damage, if not take it out. I know it's not the best physical defender, um, so that'll be good. Tornadus of Voids? Wow! I got a light screen. Okay, that is not the one to use against Gudra. Wow, that does not do a lot of damage. Okay. Um, that is okay, though. Now, we could go Icy Wind if we wanted. Um, Bleak Wind Storm. The downside to using this is it's 80% accurate, and we do not have the Rain Up, which would end up... Um, yeah, which would end up guaranteeing a hit. Um, but I really want to see the animation for this move, if I'm being honest. So I honestly think we're going to go with the Bleak Wind Storm. We're going to take the shot on that. Um, and just so I can get a good body press as well, let's go with the Shelter. Now the wow, it actually hits both! Wow, and we actually lowered their speed too. Cool. Wow, going for the Volt Switch. Yeah, wow, just knocks out Tornadus in one. So much damage. Kind of wish we would have gotten a light screen up, right? Alright, Courage. And again, this actually kind of shows you how slow Hisui and Gudra is. Because, I mean, that was able to outspeed Gudra when we have Tailwind up. So, yep, and there's a Reflect. That's fair. It's going to make that extra bulky. Fair enough. Um, I think we can actually... I mean, that would be really good. We can use the ghost move to be able to knock out them. But the downside is we have fire, and we're going to have to deal with the fire against the water. So we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go with Sneasler. I think that's a good idea. I mean, I know that it's uh, fighting and all that, but... I don't think we're really going to have to worry about them. So, what's our terror? We're terror flying. Um, I don't think we're going to have to really worry about... Um... Yeah. So I think we'll be fine. We'll go for the Dire Claw over there because we should... I say we should be able to knock out, but I'm not 100% sure. To guarantee we should go for the Fake Out, but... Yeah, I think we'll do that. And I'm going to go for the Heavy Slam over there again. Yeah, let me KO. Yeah, we actually probably would have KO'd with just a regular Heavy Slam. But I just wanted to make sure because they got their Reflect up, you know? Ooh, up in their Special Defense as well. And Attack, obviously. Uh, so that's going to be a little rough, I'm not going to lie, but, um, 
Yeah, we'll probably have to take that thing out ASAP. Yeah, we want to go fast. We want to go fast, don't we? Um, the only thing is, like, with that Dire Claw, it's nice because you have that chance of leaving them with a, uh, with some kind of effect. Let's go with the Dire Claw over into Courage. And we'll go with the Body Press over there, especially since they went with the uh, Calm Mind. Yeah, that is not much damage. Wow, missed another Thunder Wave. That is so unlucky on their part. I feel so bad for them on that. Calm Mind, fair enough. Okay, now the good thing... Hmm. I say good thing, but... Ah, they got lefties, though. Hmm. Yeah, we lose our Tailwind, which means they're going to be faster now. Honestly, I should have went for the close combat. Like, truly. I'm actually going to go for the close combat this time. And let's go for a, uh... Go for a Body Press over on the Mountain Dew here. Makes sense. Now they're going to definitely go for the Thunder Wave and get it. Oh, wow, I still outsped. Hmm. Yeah. Well, not anymore, I don't think. Hey, that's not bad damage, especially through a, uh, through a Reflect. It's really not that bad. Get the lefties up. That's fine. Uh, we are parried, which which kind of is a shame. But let's do that. How much longer do they have their screens? Okay, so yeah, they're light clay, so they're going to have it for a bit more. Okay. Um... Oh, and that was one of the other weaknesses that ends up turning into a neutral hit because of the, the typing, is the ice type. Sorry, I'm thinking about the fact that they might have Ice Beam or something on that. Uh, which means we could actually Terrastalize into a Steel type, but then we'd actually make the Water move go into a neutral hit. So that's kind of tough. Um, let's do that over there. That's fair. Wow, we still have speed. Sneezler's fast, man. I thought it was only a 110. Yeah, I could be wrong, though. That's all right. The white herb brings it back to normal, which is awesome. Get the muddy water, that's fine, but we resist that with Gudra. Okay, that's fine, though. The good thing is, because of the unburden now, I think we actually outspeed... Um... Yeah, I think we actually outspeed Jolteon. So we're going to go for a Dire Claw because we outsped before... Actually, hold on. I forget what Unburdens... Uh, how much it actually raises it. Um, problem is, I don't know if I'd have enough... Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to deal with that. I should have went for the life do, son of a gun. See, not making good calls right now. Yeah, we do outspeed. That is actually really awesome. That is super good to know too, because that means we should. Oh my gosh! Actually, hey, you know what? The life do didn't matter now. Look at that. Oh boy. All right. Poor Gudra. He must be sad because he's paralyzed on the field. Absolutely, my dude. Absolutely. Now, we should outspeed here as well. So let's go for the Dire Claw over there. Let's just hope that we don't have uh, a full para. Let's go Body Press over there. There. We should have went for, like, a Protect or something, too. Yeah, I'm just playing, just playing loose with this team because, you know... I feel like we have the team to be able to stop things. Ah, Gudra's the one to avoid it, though. That's fair. Because you know what? 
we can terrestrialize steel and go for the uh, heavy slam over there and actually more than likely knock out. Yeah, because now we knock out with the heavy slam, or the, par pardon me, body press over there. Uh, because right now, because we are steel and, um, let's go, buddy. Because we are steel and um, dragon, it is a neutral hit. Ah, it's throat spray. Okay, and that's the other good thing about this, uh, um, uh, what's his name, Typhlosion here. Because it does have Frisk, and like, look, I understand what people think about Frisk sometimes, but, um, honestly, ooh, let's actually go Eruption. But let's Terrastalize and let's go for that Heavy Slam. Um, oh shoot, they have Terra too. But what's their, ter what's their Terra gonna be? Beautiful. Okay, we're good. Um... Sorry, but what I was saying before is because we are Steel and Dragon, we are neutral, but because we are terrestrializing into Steel here, we actually take that neutrality away and we become a, um, or we end up making that a resistance, which is really nice. And again, that Heavy Slam is going to be a 2x stab. It's going to do a ton of damage. In fact, I actually should have protected with Typhlosion. Wow, that ate that eruption. But, but, here's the question. Dude, Gudra eats that like it's nothing. Yeah, there's that throat spray. That's fine. But look at Gudra. Hasn't even gotten to half HP. And let's see how much this actually does. And we already know it's going to KO. Let's go. And I'm so sorry to do that to that Pokemon, especially with that nickname too, because... Hey, absolutely. Ally right here. But even so, we need to do that to win the game. But either way, Nathan, really good game, my dude. All right, so another Reg D team on the casual ladder. I like this a lot. I actually appreciate this. So cool. So they have the Hisuian Arcanine, which which is cool. It's the, uh, what is it, Rock and Fire, I believe? The downside of that, of course, is you have, uh, unfortunately, two 4X weaknesses. But still, definitely has some utility. Uh, but they also have Moltres, too. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but let's see here. Um... I mean, I don't know if they feel like they can actually bring, uh... I was gonna say, I don't even know if they're gonna bring Palafin because of Regieleki, but... Um... Man, that's a tough one. Um, man, you know what we're going to do, actually? We're going to go with Tornadus. Let's go Tornadus and Sneasler, and then we'll have Gudra and uh, Ting Lu in the back. Ting Lu will be able to take care of Arcanine. Um, I know we're kind of leaving ourselves wide open with Palafin, but honestly, if I... Don't think, especially if they saw Reggie Alecki there, that they would end up bringing it. So, you know, that's just my assumption here. I could be wrong. <sighs> okay, um... Alright, well, let's go Tailwind. Son of a gun. And, um... Let's go for the close combat over into Palafin spot. Because we know they're going to be swapping out. They're not swapping out. We're going to get the close combat over into Palafin. Nice. Damage. I know, we lowered that, but... There we go. There it is. That's fair, they're probably going to go for a power gem too then. Go ahead, bring out Garchomp. Right? I'm assuming Cupcake is Garchomp? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I figured. 
Wow, going Stealth Rock, too. Okay. So, no Power Gem. Um, again, we have no Rain. I think we can actually go for the Icy Wind. It is very possible that they Terrastalize, but I am going to hope that that is not the case. Um, let's do that, and I'm actually going to protect with Sneasler. Only because I want to see what this Icy Wind does, and I also want to see what they're... Okay, so no Terra. So let's see what this Icy Wind actually does, because it's a 4x move then. With the Spiky Shield, that means they're going to go for the EQ, I would imagine. Come on, how much does this do, though? Not bad! Not bad, actually, because it's not a stab and it's a really weak move. Yikes. Oh, not bad. Oh my goodness. Nice. Okay, now question is... Uh, I think we're just going to have to go with the Icy Wind again. And we're going to outspeed over there. Um, let's see. If the Icy Wind did that much, I don't know how much the Dire Claw would actually do. But at the very least, we would be able to get a status over there, which would be nice. And now the good thing is, unless that Glamora is like a ground Terra and has um, Earth Power, oh yeah, we're good on the with the Icy Wind now. Oh, and they get poisoned. That's fine. So even if we miss with the Icy Wind, at least they're going to be gone somewhat soon. That's a little bit of damage. That's fine though. Nice. Goodbye, Cupcake. And that did not mean to be, like... Never mind. There we go. Going for the Sludge Wave, okay. Yeah, Sneasler not taking any da much damage on that, I should say. Of course, more than... It doesn't matter. There we go. Next, we're going to go out with Gudra, because now we do have that Steel Typing. Can't get poisoned. We're not going to take any, like, poison damage at all. And again... The main thing is we want to make sure... Yeah, we got Palafin too. That's fine. We're going to outspeed Palafin. That's really, honestly, the main thing. That's fine. We resist a lot of those moves, though. Um, actually going to go for Shelter. And... Let's go for the Dire Claw over to Palafin. Because I don't think... Perfect. That's perfect. We're going to knock out Palafin here, which I think is going to be really nice. Never mind. I forgot about Jet Punch. Okay. Well, that's... That's... That's fine. You know what? We increase our defense here. They're not going to be able to do too much. So, I feel pretty pretty good about that. Tailwind's gone. That's fine. Now we got Ting Lu. Um, I think we're actually going to go into a Poison Terra here. Because let me think about it. who's the last Mon that they probably have. Hmm. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure. Either way, though, let's um. Yeah, let's go for the heavy slam over there, and let's terrestrialize and. I know Throw Chop would be stronger, but if for some reason they swap out... If for some reason they swap out... Yeah, maybe Throw Chop will be better. Because I was thinking, depending on who it is, um, if for some reason it was that Hisui and Arcanine, that uh, Stopping Tantrum would have done a lot. However, on the flip side, if it was actually that Moltres, it wouldn't have done anything. Um, so at least with... It's fine. That's not going to do too much. We'd like that. Power Gem, that's not going to do too much. Oh, boy. Oh. With Ting Lu. Okay, well, that's not good. That's good, though. That is very, very good. And that's fine. We don't have any other Pokemon. These guys can't get poisoned anyways, because one's poison, one's steel, but... 
Um, so depending on who this last mon is, I think we're going to be okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, that's fine. Well, we can't use... Actually, I'm going to go Life Do. Now let's go Life Do, and let's go with a... Um... Go with the Stomping Tantrum over into Palatin. What are they going to terrestrialize into? That's the question. Ooh, going full into Ghost. Okay, you're going to get that 2x stab on the uh, Rage Fist then. It's fine, yeah, I know. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's fine, but we got that 2x, uh, 2x increase on our defense. So that's great. We knock them out. We get the life due. We heal ourselves up a little bit more. And honestly, I might go for one more. If I'm being honest. Just to make sure that we are really bulky in our, in our defense. So when they're drain punching us, they're not getting as much back. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's go shelter. And now we can actually go throw chop and have that be a stab. Rage fist. Nice. I don't know why I was worried there. That's good damage. Yeah, so now we really don't have to worry about this. Nice. So now we're plus four in our defense. So let's go with... Ooh, whoa. Actually, I still think it would have gone into, into them. Let's do that, and let's go for the throw chop one more time. Yeah, look at that. Typically, Gudra not necessarily the best defender, but this one, the Hisuian one, my goodness, man. Let's go. Good damage there. Let's go. And that's, that's, dang. Kind of like this combo, actually. Especially against, like, Lamore or something like that. It's not bad. I like this a lot. Really good game. I'm really liking Hisui and Gudra. That's a pretty cool team. Yeah, I've actually done uh, some battles with a Greedon before. I think, yeah, Greedon was actually on our SpongeBob team. It actually played as Sandy, so uh, I know, especially with like stuffed cheeks and stuff like that, it can actually do some. Uh, it can stay out there for quite a bit and actually do some good damage too. Um, obviously, stuffed cheeks isn't a uh, isn't a damaging move, but to be able to eat the berry that you have to heal up and actually get the benefit from it too, I think is extremely, extremely nice. Um, now with this one, I, I'm a little worried. I think that they're gonna, they, yeah, they're definitely gonna end up going with a, uh, with a trick room, especially since they see a lucky. But then again, I said last time, I think that they're gonna end up going, uh, or not gonna bring Palafin because we have a lucky. So I could be wrong. Um, but I'm gonna try to, mm, You know what? We're going to go Sneasler and Ting Lu. And we're going to have Gudra and... You know what? Let's go Alecky. Let's let's be a little toxic here. And Alecky's got the Sash too, so at least it's going to stay out there for a bit. I wonder how much damage an actual, like, a singular, like, Salt Cure would do to it. That'd be interesting to see. Because I know it's pretty frail and all that, but... Oh boy, we might actually see that here. Alright. Well, the good thing here... Is Dire Claw... Is actually super effective on Azumarill. Hmm... We would be leading a zoom world wide open to actually. So let's do that and then. No, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for the dire claw. I know I can fake out, and I probably should, but I'm not going to. 
We're gonna do that and let's go for the uh, stomping tantrum over to Garganical. Yeah. And they're gonna terrestrialize. My guess. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't say my guess then. Into water, oh boy, that's gonna be a little rough. Um. Oh, a lucky. That's right. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's fair. I get it. I totally understand. Now, the problem is... Oop, my bad. The problem is, like... Oh, it's got lefties, but we have the poison, though. Okay, it doesn't quite KO, though. That's the downside. And that's a shame. They're probably gonna go for, like, an Aqua Jet or something just to, uh... I'm gonna go with that, and, um... I'm gonna go with the, uh... Actually, we're gonna go th with the Throw Chop this time, because it's a little bit stronger. Yeah, the Aqua Jet was coming in. I really don't mind. That's fine. I know they're gonna get knocked out to, um... There we go. We're gonna get the White Herb, so we're gonna take advantage of Unburton. Like, I knew they were gonna get knocked out by uh, Poison on this turn. And I knew they were going to go with an Aqua Jet because it's got to be the move that they go with. So, end up doubling over there. We end up knocking out Garganical before it's able to move. And then we end up taking care of Azumarill here too due to poison. So that's awesome. Downside is we are still salt cured. Uh, and we do only have 23 HP or something like that over on uh, Ting Little. Uh, the good news is, unless they have a priority move, uh, we will outspeed. Our rear, we are still taking damage every single turn. Now, we could swap out and kind of take that away, but... Ah, oh, great, son of a gun. And Mimikyu. Now, we could swap out and take that away, but I... I'm just going to take my chances. Um, I can go Dire Claw over into Mimikyu so I can break. Actually, hold on. We have Gudra, we have a Leki. Well, Greedon has the berries, though. I, I think if we're able to. Let's break Mimikyu. And let's go for the throw chop as well. I don't know if we're gonna get a hit with uh, with Ting Lu, but still, yeah. Okay, I'm glad we didn't go for the close combat over there. Nice, we get that. We break the. Uh... Oh, it's a rocky helmet. Yikes. Okay, so we break the disguise. That's good. Who's Mimikyu going into? Oh, they're going for the. Yeah. Never mind. That makes sense. Yeah, we lose Ting Lu here. Good thing is, Gudra is not that fast. Downside is, especially if they end up having, um, oh boy. Yeah, especially if they end up having something like, um, like Body Press, which I'm sure they have. Uh, that's going to be a big, 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 big problem. So, let's go for the close combat if we even have that chance. Um... And let's shelter as well. Um... 
Oh, thank you for missing. Thank you for missing. Ooh, that's some good damage! Holy cow, that's some good damage. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, we really need to take that thing out. Um... Let's do that. And honestly, we need to go for the body press over there. What do they got? Oh no. Gudra tanks that so well. My goodness. Holy cow, that's incredible. Oh, we got the crit when we didn't necessarily need it, but still, that is nice. That is nice. I mean, I'm part of the reason why that didn't hit as hard is because Earthquake isn't a stab. Now, if they would have ended up terrestrializing into a ground type, get 50% more damage, Kudra wouldn't have gotten knocked out, but dang, man, you would have taken it down so far. So far. What's our Terra? With that? Yeah, no, that's fine. Let's just go with the Electro Web. Actually, hold on. What's the other one? Eerie Impulse. No, let's go for the Electro Web. Let's tear it into Steel, because if they're going to go for a play rough, at least this will kind of stop it. So let's do that. Let's go for the Heavy Slam. Never mind, because they canceled the battle. But there we go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Really, really good game on that. So once again, I think Hisuian Gudra is going to be a really great Pokemon once Regulation D comes around. Now, are there other Pokemon that I think are going to be better and might, you know, give Gudra a run for its money? To the point where Gudra might be difficult to use in a lot of matchups. Absolutely. Again, I think that, uh, especially with some of the ground Pokemon as well as some of the fighting Pokemon, it will be tough. But again, having something like Shell Armor as well as like Shelter to be able to up your defense, I think is going to help you out quite a bit, especially against uh, a matchup like that. Uh, but again, Gudra is going to be a great Pokemon. With all that bulk, having Shell Armor to prevent critical hits, uh, I think it's going to be a great Pokemon. I think it's going to be a great Pokemon to use and definitely one that I think we're going to be using throughout Regulation Day. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.